Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a haul on the Sephora VIB sale. So this is a pretty big bag that I have here. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that I picked up for the sale. Before I get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here again. You guys know that I appreciate all of the love and all of the support. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started with today's video. Every single time that there is a Sephora sale, I tell myself that I'm not going to get crazy and I go crazy. Let's go ahead and let's get started with the haul. I am going to start with fragrance since that is what you guys love the most. Then I'll show a little bit of body care. I don't really have too much body care and skincare and then the rest is beauty. I'm going to be doing a lot of swatches so if you're interested in something you can see how it looks. And hopefully I get this up and there's still time for the sale. But I'm going to get started with fragrances. And for this sale, I did pick up a few fragrances that I always seem to have on my like little wish list on Sephora, but I never buy them for some reason. So the first one is one that I've been wanting since last year, and this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. The packaging is just so gorgeous, all gold, and I got the one fluid ounce because this is already pricey enough, but I want this for this upcoming summer. I am going to be going on a cruise soon, so I think this is going to be one of the fragrances that I take with me just to kind of have memories of that trip. So here is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And this one is just, I do get white florals in this one, but I also get, there's pistachio in here. So this has pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, middle notes are tuberose, ylang ylang, and jasmine, and the base notes are coconut, amber, tonka bean, and benzoin. So it's kind of like a warm white floral. It's a little bit of spice because I do get that cardamom in there. And I just got this, to be honest with you guys, that pistachio note just... I don't really see too many fragrances with pistachio note in them, and I absolutely love that note. So I am so happy to have this in my collection. This is a beautiful summer fragrance, I would say, but I think you you can get away with it whenever you want. It just smells very bougie, just fancy girl at the beach type of scent. So that is the first fragrance that I picked up. Then I took advantage of the sale and I also took advantage that Replica had the smaller bottles available because Replica's bottles are so huge and I'm not really like the biggest fan of Replica, but these two I have been wanting for a while. I kind of go back and forth with them. So this is just the perfect size to have them in. I did pick up Replica's bubble bath and I got it in the one ounce. So the bottles are really tiny. So I kind of do like the look of the bigger bottle, but realistically, I'm okay with the one ounce bottle. So here is the bottle. And this one is more of like your clean fragrance. Top notes are soap and bergamot, middle notes are lavender, rose, and jasmine, and the base notes are coconut, white musk, and patchouli. So this one, I kind of, I had like two samples of this one, and I kept going back and forth on whether I liked it or not. But now that I have it here in my collection, I feel like this is a really pretty shade to what shade. I feel like this is a really pretty fragrance to wear on an everyday basis, especially on, in hot weather when you just want to smell clean, refreshed, put together, crisp. It just has like this vibe of I just literally just got out of the shower. So Bubble Bath is a great name for it. And I'm excited to start wearing this one. And then the other one that I picked up is the Beach Walk. And this one, I was, I did have a travel size of this fragrance and I used it complete, like I finished it all up and I just never got the full size bottle, but here is the small bottle. 
This one has top notes of lemon, bergamot, and pink pepper. The middle notes are coconut milk, ylang ylang, and heliotrope. And the base is musk, benzoin, and cedar. So this is another, I got like, these are pretty much spring and summer fragrances. Oh yes, this one is so nice. I do have Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus, which to me they smell very similar. This is just coke, warm coconut walk on the beach, but when the sun is setting, just golden hour type of fragrance. Really, really pretty, and it does have like something sexy about it as well, and it almost has like a sandy, like sand vibe to it. Like if you're literally walking on the sand. So I really am glad to have that one in my collection. Then I also picked up this Kayali travel size and this is the musk. And the notes for this one are lotus flower, jasmine, musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. I don't know why I didn't want to pick up the full size of this one for some reason. I wanted to smell it first and I'm kind of glad I didn't get the full size. Not because it isn't pretty, but because I feel like I do have other fragrances that kind of remind me of this. And I think it was Rebecca Cayazzo that mentioned that this was similar to Clean Reserve Skin in the little purple bottle. And I do have a bottle of that, so it is very similar to that. So I don't think I need the full size bottle once I go through both the replica and this one whichever one I like the most I would probably get a full-size bottle of that one but it's just a very just I wouldn't say clean it's not soapy clean it's just clean as in very pleasing very crowd pleasing it's not super floral it's not too in your face it's just very soft musk and this is really nice to mix with other fragrances then I got this fragrance which always just gets my attention when I go to Sephora and I have never owned it and it's pretty much one of the fragrances that should be like in everyone's starter collection and this is Chance by Chanel and this is Eau Tendre so I have uh I have Eau Fresh I have Eau Vive but I've never owned this one so I got it in the 1.7 fluid ounce and here is the beautiful gorgeous bottle and this one is just like your girly girl, just a mall, I'm shopping, I'm going out to dinner type of fragrance. So I got the Eau de Parfum. So the top notes are quince and grapefruit, middle notes are rose and jasmine, and the base note is white musk. So this one, oh, this one is so pretty. I love, 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 love this one. It's kind of similar to Eau Vive, but I feel like Eau Vive might be a little bit like more zesty or spicier. This one definitely has like a more girly touch, like the color pink, what you would think when you think of pink. Really, really nice perfume, and I'm definitely going to wear that one a lot for spring and summer. And then the last fragrance that I got is this Toca Eau de Parfum, and this is Simone which you guys know that I have mentioned that I really wanted this one and I had it in my wish list for a while. So this one is my second Toka fragrance. Here is the gorgeous bottle. Look at this cap, it's just so beautiful. It's really, really heavy. And this one I believe has a watermelon note and that's why I was really excited to try this one because I don't have many fragrances with watermelon. So the top notes for this one are watermelon, apple, and lemon. Middle notes are freesia, frangipani, rose, and ylang ylang. And the base notes are musk, woody notes, and amber. Such a pretty scent. This is just very refreshing. Fruity, but not too fruity. The musk is really, really pretty in here. And I wouldn't say that this is, just because there's watermelon in here, I know that many people will probably think is it similar to L'Imperatrice from Dolce and Gabbana. I don't think it is. L'Imperatrice is more on the super fruity side. This one I would say it's more like perfumey with those watery 
fruits and notes in there. So it's really, really nice for spring and summer. I can't wait to fully start testing this one out and see how I feel about it. So next I'm going to be talking about this body cream that has been going super viral because it smells like Baccarat Rouge by 40. I feel like every single body spray or lotion that comes out now wants to smell like Baccarat Rouge by 40 and it's kind of getting a little boring, I'm not gonna lie, but the packaging of this is so beautiful and it actually does smell like it. So I feel like layering this with that fragrance would be beautiful and this is the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor. And here is the beautiful packaging. It's like a baby pink color. And I just, I got sucked into getting it. But does it smell like Baccarat Rouge 540? It sure does. So it does smell like it. And I feel like it actually has like a really girly, pretty touch to it. So layering with this is going to be really nice. Smells really, really pretty, and if you're looking for a lotion to layer with that fragrance, this is definitely a great option. Next up, I got the new Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA AHA Salicylic Serum. This is clarifying and retexturizing. This sounds like a dream to me, and you guys know that Glow Recipe is my favorite skincare brand, and every single time that they come out with a new product, I will be trying it. So this one has the little strawberries on the inside and it is a cute little strawberry bottle. And I'm going to start adding this to my nighttime routine. Uh, hopefully it helps because I do need a little bit of help retexturizing. And salicylic acid is always good to keep your skin clear from breakouts and everything. So hopefully this works out for me. Next up, I got two Natasha Denona palettes. I got the pastel palette, which I had no plans of getting this. But when I saw it on the website, I thought it just looked so pretty. And I could come up with some really pretty looks for this palette. So here are the colors. I feel like this one by itself, I don't know if I would use it, but mixing it with my other palettes, I feel like I could come up with some really pretty spring and summer looks. And it's always nice to have these pops of color. Like there's a really pretty lime green up here. And this mint color is beautiful, super pretty sparkly pink. It's just really, really nice colors here. So I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up, but they're just very light pastel colors. I don't really have anything like this in my collection, so I am happy to add this to it. And then the palette that I am wearing today on my eyes is this Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I'm actually wearing the blush from this palette, the highlight from this palette, and the eyeshadows are from this palette as well. So. This I'm going to be taking with me when I go on vacation because it's literally, I just don't like the fingerprints. This is literally just like a whole look in one palette, which is amazing so that you don't have to travel with so many things. So you have a highlight, you have a blush, and then you have some eyeshadow shades that you can use to create just a simple, really pretty look. It has a really pretty shimmer that you can put on your inner corner. There is transition shades, crease, and a smoky shade that I added towards the outer part of my eyes. The highlight is really beautiful, so I am really happy with this palette. And then I went lip crazy, but I felt like I needed some lip products, so I did get a bunch of lipsticks, you guys. And the main one that I stocked up on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte and Satin Lipsticks. I just fell in love with those lipsticks. You guys know that I mentioned Warm Peach on my last favorites video. So I did get four lipsticks to add to my collection. I got American Doll, I got Haze, I got Royal Red and Butterscotch. So I am going to show all of them to you guys, but I am just so in love with this formula this is the packaging for the lipstick and here this one is haze i'm going to take all of them out so that i can swatch them 
So I'm going to swatch butterscotch right here. Butterscotch is a super warm, peachy, nude type of shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here. I believe this one is a satin formula. So here is the color for that one. Next up, I have another satin and this one is haze. So this one is more of a mauve nude type of shade. Wow, oh, it's so beautiful. It is like a baby pink type of color. So you can see the difference between both of them right here. So we have Royal Red. Look at this lipstick, you guys. It is completely matte. I think that it is just beautiful. Look at how matte that is. That is the most gorgeous red lipstick ever. And look how creamy that went on. Super, super pigmented. This is like your traditional red shade. And then here I have American Doll, which is another super red shade. This one looks more on the bright side. So there is that red. So those are the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. Then I picked up two of the Fenty Icon, the refillable lipsticks. I bought the MVP and Mother Lava. So these are the little refill lipsticks. And here is, oh, here is the red one for Fenty. So I'm going to swatch it underneath the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I definitely don't need any more red lipsticks. I am all stocked up. So here is the Fenty one towards the bottom. And then we have Mother Lava, which is a nude color, beautiful nude shade. Ooh, this formula is amazing. So here is that nude shade from Fenty. And I do have one lipstick from Pat McGrath. I have never got any lipsticks from Pat McGrath and this is the shade Christy. Look at this packaging. I mean, this is beautiful packaging. And this one is like a baby pink color, another beautiful matte shade. I'm gonna put this one here. Wow, these lipsticks are super pigmented. Let's see, right there, the one on the bottom, it's more of a mauve shade. So that is the lipsticks. I did pick up some blushes, I forgot about these. These are the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. So I got three shades in this. These were released very recently. So I got the shades Perky Peach, Coral Cutie, and Proud Pink. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at these. Look at this gorgeous packaging. Isn't this so beautiful? So I got it in this shade. I'm gonna take them all out. What I like about these blushes is that they all match the color that you are getting inside. So here they are all together. And I'm just going to do some quick swatches. This is a beautiful peachy color. It's perky peach right here. And next I'm going to do Coral Cutie. The second shade. I'm full of swatches. And then we have Proud Pink. Really pretty pink shade. And then I also picked up the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I have been hearing so much about this primer. People with dry skin, people with oily skin, it doesn't matter. Everyone is saying that this is amazing. And I have told you guys that I don't really like using primers. I prefer to use priming oils or very nice creams because I do have very dry skin. So I'm going to see how this works out, but I don't really have... Too much high expectations when it comes to my skin texture but who knows maybe it might be a new favorite so i need to try it out soon and then the last product that i picked up is the rare beauty positive light 
tinted moisturizer. I want to try this out for you guys, and I got it in the shade 22W, which it's a little bit on the light side, but it's okay because I can warm it up with bronzer and whatnot. So here is that shade. And I'm really, really excited to try this out. So my next foundation review, I think I'm going to do this one. And yeah, that is pretty much everything that I picked up for the Sephora VIB sale. I did pick up some Charlotte Tilbury products, but those are on the way to me. She did put out a new highlight and the little glow wands that everyone is going crazy over. I was able to get a contour shade, which was insane because when I checked again, it was already sold out. And I also got some highlight shades and I picked up the highlight. And then I also picked up the new Patrick Top palette. That's what's coming in that separate package. But this is pretty much what I picked up for the Sephora VIB sale haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if what you guys picked up for the sale or what you're planning on picking up. Thank you guys so, so much for being here with me. Comment down below so that we can chat. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.